Thank you. First of all, I want to tell you that uh, I was a very big fan of multifocal IELTS, bifocal, after that trifocal IELTS, until I tried Symphony Lenses. Since the end of 2017, I implanted only multifocal lenses. But when I tried Symphony, I saw that uh, I can uh, make things better for, for my patient. Because I realized that splitting the light inside of our patient eye is not a good thing and can uh, bring a lot of problems for our patient. This is a study presented in one, one of our national congresses this year. It is a comparison of the refractive results in patients with bilateral implantation of panoptics IL and uh, with the technis, uh, technis IL. Probably you know the differences in technology. We are talking about uh, an extended depth of focal le focus lens like Ante already told you and about the trifocal lens from, uh, from Alcon. It is a retrospective study on 200 eyes, 100 patients, 100 eyes implanted with Symphony IL and 100 eyes implanted with Panoptics uh, IL. We use intraoperative aperometry and uh, also standard biometry. All surgeries were, was performed, by the, were performed by the same surgeon. And we examined the patient uh, at six weeks and uh, we evaluated the subjective satisfaction through questionnaire and uh, our main target was to measure the uncorrected distant visual acuity, uncorrected intermediate and uncorrected near visual acuity. We included patients with cataract, with regular symmetrical, symmetrical stigmatism, with no intraoperative complication without laser refractive surgery in the past, without corneal or retinal pathologies, without difficult collaboration, or uh, we, who cannot attend the six weeks visit. There are no, no statistically significant difference in terms of uh, demographics between the two groups. And here are our results. And in terms of distant vision, please observe that the distant vision, it's almost the same, slightly better for uh, the technis patient, but with no statistically significant differences. The corrected distant visual acuity didn't show any statistically significant differences. In terms of intermediate vision, uncorrected or distance corrected intermediate vision, we found a statistically significant difference between the patient implanted with Symphony and implanted with Panoptics. In uh, terms of, of near vision, of course, for uncorrected near visual acuity, panoptics is superior, but only in photopic condition, when the patient has enough light around them. Because we measure the same near vision in the mesopic condition, and mesopic condition, uh, I think it's something uh, like in this room or, uh, or uh, less light, and we found that the, the difference in, uh, in near visual acuity will, uh, the, vision, the, the near vision acuity for the panoptics group will drop and will not have a significant statistical difference between the panoptics group and the, and the symphony group. This is the defocus curve of the panoptics patients compared with the monofocal <laughs> defocus curve. And you can see that they have a very good distant vision, a very good near vision, and a good intermediate vision. But for symphony lenses in our patient, we obtain a very good uh, distance intermediate vision, and of course, a slightly uh, less in, uh, in the near vision. Symphony provide better uh, intermediate vision and uh, slightly less near vision for, for our patients. We measured also the contrast sensitivity. Practically, uh, the, the, our device makes a score from our patient uh, responses and we compared this score between the panoptics group and the symphony group. And the, we found 
a statistically significant difference in terms of contrast sensitivity in photopic condition uh, between the symphony lenses and panoptic lenses. And also in mesopic condition, with or without glare, we found the same statistically significant difference. So symphony lens can bring more light in our patient eye and can deliver a better vision in photopic or mesopic condition. About uh, the patient satisfaction, most patients reported no visual symptoms or mild symptoms. And uh, the patient implanted with Symphony uh, were able to read at, uh, uh, at a distance of 50 or 50 something centimeters. Because uh, uh, I think 75% of our patient implanted with Symphony can have a very good uncorrected near vision like Ante already mentioned. In the conclusion of our study was the, that the both group promoted very good quality of vision at distance intermediate and near, a high percentage of spectacle independence. There was no statistically significant difference between the two groups regarding uncorrected and corrected distance visual acuity. So in terms of distant visual acuity, we have the same, we had the same uh, results. But considering the near vision under photopic condition, panoptics present a significant better, better vision uh, at 40, 30 centimeter, but this is, a diff this is only for photopic condition. For intermediate vision, Technic Symphony showed better result than panoptics. And why right now I choose Symphony in more than 80% of my uh, patient to correct presbyopia because it offers an excellent distant visual acuity. And here is the, I, I think we should, co we should discuss uh, more about this because with a monofocal lens, you can reach a maximum distant vision of uh, between 1 and 1 1.5. With Technis Symphony uh, lens, you can achieve a vision of 1.2, even 1.5 uh, uncorrected, which is a very, very good vision. You will have a very good intermediate vision and an acceptable near vision. Like I said, 70-75% of my patients don't need a correction for the near vision. Like Ante already told you, it's very tolerant with a small residual ametropia. It's the only lens uh, recommended to be implanted in eyes with up one diopter of astigmatism. So, uh, in the monofocal, multifocal patient, trifocal patient, if you uh, will have, let's say, more than half of diopter of astigmatism, the, the uncorrected vision will be uh, decreased by the residual astigmatism. You can use the same IL constants like the entire Technis platform and we have an improvement in contrast sensitivity. And back to the light. I think the light is very important for our patients. With a multifocal IOL, you will use maximum 55% of the light for distant vision because the lens will split the light in the eyes of your patient. So you'll need your adaptation to deal with the, the presence of the multiple superimposed image on the retina with the reduction in the contrast sensitivity. And this new adaptation is different for different patients. You never know how smart is your patient brain in front of you. So you, it's like you play poker with your patient brain because the new adaptation can be fast or not, or uh, can be partial or complete. On the other way, with the symphony, uh, we choose more than 80% of the light inside of the eye of the patient without split it. Uh, and with the proprietary Escherle design, you can uh, have an elongated focus area with a more physiological image formation and this will be easier for the brain. <coughs> I saw in my patient with symphony lenses that uh, in the first day, or maybe let's say in the first uh, 48 hours, they are able to see more than 20-20 at distance, usually uh, if they have a good retina or uh, no other uh, pathologies. So I think, uh, I think the symphony, it's a, 
modern lens, it's a very good choice for our presbyopia uh, patient because they, uh, the lens can offer an excellent distant vision, an excellent intermediate vision, and a good near vision for our patient without splitting the light. Can be implanted in the patient with stable retinal pathologies like uh, AMD maybe or uh, or uh, diabetic retinopathy or in other pathologies like you already saw in my, in ante presentation and uh, I think uh, uh, the combination between uh, Symphony and uh, low multifocal can uh, can bring us an advantage for the near vision. Thank you very much.